so far and I'm already behind with pumping. So today is actually the 12th. Um, I didn't change the date. So I've pumped 10 ounces so far this morning uh, when I got up. So about 5.45 to um, about 6.15, 6.20, I pumped 10 ounces. And then I went to um, work in my little home classroom office. Yeah. Um so the next time I was supposed to pump was at nine. But as you can see, it is after ten o'clock. So um I just put away groceries and I still gotta put those away. Um so yesterday I pumped a total of eighteen ounces. So with me already at ten ounces, I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat the eighteen ounces today. So I'm going to eat a bowl of oatmeal with apple and I want to fix me a glass of almond milk because apparently this also helps with milk production also so I'm not a total fan of almond milk but um y'all know my little favorite thing my favorite thing to do is this right here Hershey syrup. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit just to, you know, make it a little bit more appealing to me. So, bowl of oatmeal, glass of almond milk, and some fruit. And then I'm going to pump. So, as soon as I finish eating, I'm going to pump and we'll see how much I, um, I pump. So, Amari has plenty to drink right now. Um, yeah, I got, um... Uh, tomato well cherry tomatoes and um apples and oranges that i've already sliced up for aj so that's what he has left so he amari already has plenty of milk to go so he's got milk for his next feeding the feeding after that the feeding after that and then the feeding after that and some because i need to add a few more ounces to this to make it even six ounces and that'll be basically two bottles there so he's got plenty um, of bottles already for today. So I like this. This is a whole lot different from when I first had AJ because AJ, basically, I was in a panic. <laughs> I was like suffering from anxiety like the whole time I was nursing him because every single day I felt like um, I wasn't pumping enough milk. And every day I was wondering, did he have enough milk? <laughs> was he getting enough? And was he getting enough um, nutrition? And was he growing enough? So, yeah. So now with Amari, I feel a whole lot better. I don't feel all that anxiety. Um, and to be honest with y'all, since I've been just straight pumping instead of like actually nursing, I felt even better. Um, probably because I can actually physically see what he's drinking and making sure he is getting plenty because y'all he was like like I would nurse but he still wasn't like drinking a whole lot like he wouldn't nurse very long sometimes sometimes he would nurse like 30 minutes on each boob and then other times he would nurse like a minute and then he wouldn't latch on anymore so I'm like no you need to eat so yeah so I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and pump and I'll let you all know how much I pump. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chocolate syrup. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's good. That was probably too much. <laughs> Alright, time to see how much I pumped. All right, so I pumped a total of five ounces this time. So I had an ounce in this one already. So four ounces was added and then an ounce there. So I got five ounces. So I'm gonna add this into the fridge. And I'll just put them back here. So I got three ounces that I could get out of that. And Basically, yeah, so I got six ounces there. So this is um, two more bottles here. I should just go ahead and split them up. 
we'll see but these are three ready bottles that are ready to go and Amari is working on the fourth bottle he's still working on it. he's got like like an ounce left but he fell asleep so I'll get him to finish that and then I'll have another bottle that I can go ahead and fix and now it's time for cleanup I like to clean up my um pump equipment after, right after I pump so that way the next time I pump it's ready to go and I don't have to worry about having to clean it up it's already clean and all I have to do is just grab it and start pumping so let me update the board let's go ahead and erase that one and let's put a two so I pump five ounces all right and then I'm gonna change the time all right, so I finished pumping. It was like 11, 15, 11, 20 ish, something like that. So I'm gonna give it three hours. Let's see, 11, 12, 1, 2. I'm gonna say 2.30. So 2.30 p.m. I will pump again. I've pumped 15 ounces so far today. So yeah, it's still morning and I'm almost reached that point and yesterday was the first day that I just did all pumping and no nursing so cool hey everybody welcome back <laughs> I know it's been a while and I'm supposed to be posting every Tuesday at 6 p.m. and you know you set things you know in place you set out plans work towards those plans and something always just seems to go wrong and <laughs> messes things up but it's okay it is okay I am not going to let it stress me I'm just going to pick up and we're just gonna keep moving forward so um, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so by the end of this video if you're still watching go ahead and subscribe so that way you'll uh, be notified for upcoming videos so today I'm going to talk about um, my breastfeeding update and how that is going. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now that it's not going as well as I would like it to go. But the good, good thing, great thing, is that it is still going. So let's go ahead and get into basically my routine and how it's going and what I do and what I'm actually doing to keep things going first up um during my maternity leave I basically was uh, nursing Amari every two hours just on demand um so it may not have been exactly two hours but if he went uh two hours without basically fussing or whatnot I would go ahead and nurse but just whenever he would you know fuss or something and indicate that he wanted to nurse I would nurse him and everything was great I would even have times you know to actually pump and store the excess milk so I was nursing on demand and I was building a stash of milk <laughs> so I had plenty of milk for when we travel like you know going out of town or you know just going to different places or whatnot visiting a uh, family there was plenty of milk that I could basically bring along with us to help with that but then before maternity leave was over and I had to return to work I actually started um, pumping exclusively so I was actually just straight pumping and trying that out just to see how I like it and I actually started off doing that just to see um, just how much milk I was actually producing and yeah so I was uh, just pumping exclusively and what that means is that I wasn't nursing I was just pumping um, like every two to three hours um, as if I were nursing and then I would just feed um, that milk to Amari through the bottle and I was trying to get him used to drinking from a bottle because I was going to be heading to work soon and then I wanted to see how much milk I was actually producing um, I actually liked pumping exclusively 
But then, um, I went back to work. And when I went back to work, it basically ruined how I felt about pumping. While I was pumping exclusively, I was pumping about 28 to 32 ounces a day, which was good. Um, and that was when he was feeding like three ounces per feeding. So that was like really good. I was pumping a lot of milk. I, I yeah. <laughs> See, just thinking about it right now, I'm just like, yeah, that was good. <laughs> three ounce bottles and I was like pumping 28 to 32 ounces a day okay as his feeding started to increase meaning he started to drink more than three ounces of feeding he went to four ounces and then he jumped to five ounces and then six ounces and then he jumped to eight ounces so yeah so basically his amount in his feedings increased and I just basically wasn't able to keep up. The main reason I wasn't able to keep up was because I eventually, of course, it was inevitable, I returned back to work. And that basically meant that I only had one opportunity, which was during my break time, to actually um, pump. And I guess with the stresses of work and then the busyness of work, I wasn't able to drink and eat as much and you know the stresses and everything it was really affecting my milk supply and so i was getting to the point where i was pumping like eight ounces during my break to pumping five ounces during my break and then four ounces during my break and then like two ounces during my break one time i sat there and pumped for 30 minutes and I basically barely had an ounce in 30 minutes y'all I barely had an ounce pump and that like just <laughs> that discouraged me so bad like even thinking about it right now it's just like oh like I mean why 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 you didn't just quit like man that was just like it was it, it felt like a waste of time and it felt like just torture, <laughs> you know, on, on my boobs. Because, I mean, the pump is not the most comfortable thing. It really isn't. So, 30 minutes pumping and all I get is less than an ounce. I really felt like, why am I doing this? Why? But I'm glad I didn't quit. Because even though, like I said at the beginning, I'm not um, producing the way I would like, um, it's still going though. And that's, and I love that. And I'm almost done with school, so hopefully I can, um, Lila, Lila. <laughs> so, um, I, I, uh, there's a few weeks, well, this week and next week of school left. And then I can go back to just nursing exclusively. That's what I'm so excited about. And I should see my milk supply increase. Um, but Amari has actually already started feeding um, on solid foods. So he may not even nurse that much. But at least I can nurse like I really want to though. My back to work routine was I would get up around 6 and nurse um amari like around 6 6 30 and then i would get ready for work and, and then i would leave for leave for work and then i would work from um yeah camera and then i would work from 7 like 7 30 to <laughs> thank you yeah all right play your game i would play i would play my game no so i would work uh, from 7.30 to um, 3.45. And so 2.30 was when I took my break. So basically at the end of the day, that's when I would um, I would pump. Then I would get home about 4 and, uh, you know, get the boys situated or whatnot. And I would either pump or nurse um, around 4.30. Me, 
and your Mima. camera. Mm -hmm. And then Amari goes to bed at six o'clock. Stop. Amari goes to bed at six o'clock. And so then I would pump at um seven o'clock. Well between seven and nine o'clock. So basically after he's gone to bed and before I go to bed, I would pump. So yeah, so that was the routine. So now um I still nurse nurse him at um six in the morning. Then I get ready for work and I head to work and I work three thirty to four four uh four forty five no three thirty to three forty five and I I don't even I don't even pump at work anymore. I don't. I I get home and I will nurse. So now he's actually on formula while I'm at work. So he has about two or three bottles of formula and he drinks like eight ounces in a bottle. And <laughs> this kid, uh, six months, which I have his six month um, update coming up. We'll drink an eight ounce bottle and we'll eat a bowl of um, uh, veggies mixed with cereal. And yeah, he he likes to eat. AJ likes to eat too. Yeah. <laughs> got to the point where I was forgetting to pump anyway. And it was just, it wasn't fun. I wasn't enjoying it. And you know, it was very discouraging because it's like I'm pumping for this long period of time and for what? Just this little tiny bit? It's like, I don't want to anymore. So right now, I nurse in the morning, and then I nurse when I get home. And then I put them in the bed. And so right now, that is the routine. So over the weekends, I nurse a little bit more. Um, and then he has like a bottle or two um, during the day um, of formula. So my goal is that... Starting week after next, I can actually nurse exclusively and, you know, also feed him, you know, the baby food. And I can actually increase that um, supply at least until he's, you know, he's done um, nursing. I'm not sure if he's going to go all the way to a year like AJ did. So if he goes a year, I, I want to, I want to be able to do that. So, yeah. So. That is my goal with um, with nursing. So I did manage to find some ways to keep my supply going and to increase it a little bit. And so the main thing is um, the lactation cookies. So like eating a pack or two of those every day, that helped so much. So that, um, drinking a glass or two of just uh, pure organic almond milk um, that helped also and like drinking a glass of almond milk and then going to sleep that helped a lot too it's like drinking almond milk or drinking a glass or two of water and then going to sleep it's like getting those fluids and then resting that helps produce so much milk so that is also another great if you want to increase your milk supply and um or just really just keep it going and you're doing everything you can to hold on to it because nursing really does you just have this really just this really cool just un I can't even explain bond. So um I, I'm not I'm not ready to stop yet. <laughs> you know, it's my baby and it's like that's my way of just 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 naturally outright just caring and loving my baby. So, the lactation cookies, and I got like a big box um, for like $20 at Target. And so, it was just a big box of the little packs of um, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And they are really good. They are a whole lot better than the lactation key tea. Than the, um, the uh, mother's milk tea, because that tea is disgusting. But... <laughs> If you drink it with um, uh, like hot cocoa mix, that would help. Like, um, like you know how if you have hot cocoa mix and you pour hot water into it. So instead of hot water, I pour that mother's milk tea in it um, and stir it up, and it tastes perfectly fine. 
but the uh, lactation cookies like a pack or two packs a day um, regularly will definitely help um, plenty 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 of water which I still need to work on that um, a glass or two of uh -oh. almond milk a day uh -oh. will also help uh -oh. and just eating right make sure you um, include plenty of uh, proteins um, and just, just everything that's healthy, you just want to include all of those things. So if you stop your prenatal vitamins, continue your prenatal vitamins. Um, and that's another thing that I still need to work on too because I forget. So I need to just come up with a routine and with something to help me remember to do all these things each day because they really do help. They do. <laughs> all right, so that is all about uh, my breastfeeding update so far. So I will probably give you all another update um, later on in, um, <laughs> in Amari's months. And probably when he's a year, I'll probably uh, update you all on that. I'm sitting here watching AJ at the computer because he's messing with things. So I'm making sure he doesn't mess with the wrong thing or falls off the chair. <laughs> Alright, so if you enjoyed the video so far and you want to stay up to date with other videos that I have coming up, please also make sure you go back and watch uh, the first season. And we are now currently in the second season, so get caught up on my Super Mom's journey. Um, I also have a blog which is supermomsjourney.com, so go check that out. So if you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. So that way, if I, for some reason, <laughs> craziness happens, and I'm not able to post on Tuesday at 6 p.m., Hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified when I do post a new video. So, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Y'all stay super. <laughs> Bye.